but like even if I'm like wearing pink and like a dress like I'm not a girl like literally like I was like on and off about like my gender identity for a while because I was like you know I'll like use she her they them um also bless my roommate from like a couple years ago that was like the first person to be like okay you, you're she her they them okay I'm gonna use they them and I was like oh you don't have to um but they did it and I loved it and it like really cemented that but also like I was just like walking around and I was like even if I wear like the frilliest dress ever and I wear all pink and wear a lot of makeup and look like hyper feminine like even if I look like that I still don't feel right being called a girl and like even if I'm comfortable wearing that too like which I am sometimes like I I love looking girly sometimes but like I'm still not a girl like it just isn't me and it doesn't feel right and I'm also not a boy because like I do like wearing men's clothes but I also like wearing girls clothes and it isn't just like wearing that clothes it's like the identity um so yeah like I was just like literally walking around like frat row for some reason and that came to mind and I was like yeah I am a they them take it or leave it um preferably take it because I would love to be accepted as I am um so yeah I love wearing makeup but it is also confusing sometimes because like I'm wearing makeup and I know who I am and sometimes I want to wear makeup and I still don't know how to wear it in a way that's like between feminine and masculine but also I feel like the problem is more so like I don't know how people perceive me in it um so yeah makeup relationship complicated but love it also the other relationship I have with makeup is like I have the makeup I have and it's not like a lot of makeup like you know Mm -hmm. it's like a lot of makeup that I, like, I've collected over the years but I don't really buy new makeup because it's expensive and I wish it wasn't and I wish I had more fun colors and stuff but it's like oh money <laughs> anyway I did buy something for my birthday and I will show you because it's super cute <sighs> my like three identities are e-boy nature fiend and like girly girl um, so, like, this is part of, like, my girly girl, like, identity. Like, I don't know if you know it, but I read Cardcaptor Sakura. I actually have the book right here. Because I have a book club with, like, my one friend. And we just read comics. Like, it's, like, a little magical girl. And she's so cute. Because she's, it's, like, it's just really innocent. Like, she's 10 years old and nothing can go wrong. And, like, she just loves her friends. And for my birthday, I saw this makeup kit. The Perfect Diary. And I was, like, I simply have to have it. It's my birthday month, um, so it's like super cute, adorable. Um, makeup. <gasps> okay, I had a dream where like I lost parts of this, and I like it was the worst nightmare of my, of my entire life. Fuck, I almost forget about this. It has this like face powder, which I don't really use a lot of. Um, I guess I should just like. It's actually really nice because I'm running out of face powder. Um, I like this is super cute, but I don't like using it. Um. It's like stamped with cute patterns. Um, I love it. It's super cute. All of it is like adorably designed. Um, there's like the eyeshadow palette, which like looks gorgeous. Um, the like colors and shit, like, or like the quality is not as high as I expected, but like they're still like super nice and pretty and gorgeous. Like the glitter, like this one is like not great quality. This one is like shimmers um so like mixed bag on this one but i still love it would still buy i got this because i'm going to use this lip gloss which i think is so cute and i love it um um look, this is pete my product the reason i bought this it was like advertised on facebook but the thing that got me were the fucking earrings um which are just like gorgeous hang on i get it like they connect here and then they just dangle and like they're just absolutely beautiful and they're like star themed which is like my favorite type of jewelry 
and they're like mismatched so I love it so much so this is like my prize my my prized gem jewel um I'll stop talking too much Also in terms of like self-love, um, one of my favorite parts of me is my lips. I think my lips are very sexy. Um, also this like, I feel like, okay, on the camera it's like showing up like a little bit different and it is kind of like a color, which I still like. It's like a lot cuter in person. Um, but I still really, really love it. And it feels like I'm kissing velvet. It is like the sexiest feeling in the entire world. I wish you could feel this. Um, so yeah, this is my prized possession. I love it so much. It's so cute. It makes me feel like special and pretty. And it's like five products in a massive box and I'm never gonna get rid of any of it. I also need to put more blush on because that's just how it goes sometimes. Be right back. I actually did not need more blush. It just like I wish you could see it in real life. Like I look a lot paler in the camera than I do in real life, and there's a lot more blush also. So I'm just gonna do highlight. Should we do gold or orange? I feel like I'll do gold because I used some of that earlier. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's what I have to report. Just like I don't know, I guess like hashtag gender, hashtag finding friends that like love and accept you the way you are. Um, hashtags? I don't use hashtags. Oh, also I haven't been using Instagram. I like stopped for a while because like um, I was boycotting it because of like once again like they're doing like um, algorithm changes that just like is like not helping anyone and also like the they share information and it's just like not ideal um anyway I haven't been using Instagram I don't know how I feel about that because like I'm still addicted to my phone I literally just like sit there and like talk to my friends sometimes or just like check out my chats that I'm on and like read comics all day for like literally no reason um but at least like at least I'm not on Instagram. Um, what I really want to do is like really clear it out. I like started to, but I follow so many fucking people. Um, like I just want like art accounts that inspire me and like the people I like and enjoy and also like some public figures that I really like enjoy hearing things from. But it's hard to decide. Um, also like I always, I have other earrings that are like star and moon. And the moon ones always go on the left side because in third grade, I broke my right arm using a jump rope as a slingshot. And ever since then, I've considered my right side the unlucky side and the left side the lucky side. And for some reason, the left, I was aligned with the moon. I also have like an earring, a pair of earrings that's like man, woman, and the woman always goes on the left. Um, so just me and my small neuroses. Um, yeah. This is my final look. I feel like a cute little princess. I'm not gonna do an outfit change or a hair thing because fuck, I need to take a shower, but it's also 30 degrees in here. That's not true. But we don't use our heater because we're fucking stupid. Um, I'm gonna be so cold tonight. Um, 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 so yeah, this is my final look. I feel very cute and soft, very welcoming. Oh, also profile hand because um, 
that's one of the things I'm insecure about, my profile. But it's also really pretty. Like, I got my dad's nose, which is ugly. But also, I got a better version of my dad's nose, because, like, it is, like, a bigger nose, and it is, like, a shape. But it's also, like, it can, like, I've grown to love it, and I think it's really pretty. And I think my face is really pretty most of the time. Um, so, even my dad is, like, I'm glad you look more like your mom than me. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, profile. Um, I have to like my nose and my face because like Aztec paintings, like my face is definitely like something that's like softer than that. Like it's a little more European than that. But like that is my heritage. Like I am literally European people that colonized native like people. The people in El Salvador, like the, that area, it's the Pipil people. So I just have to love like my nose and like the way my jaw and like I just have to love the way this part of my face is because brown people are beautiful and that's facts and also there's a complicated history to being Latinx and there's a lot of colorism and like faceism and there's just a I don't know it's a lot of details um, have fun receiving this like literally one hour long video. <laughs> Love you.